I got back from speaker's corner approximate an hour ago and I just wanted to make a short video to say thank you to everyone who turned up the speaker's corner with flowers, chocolates and cards. Those who concerned for the freedom of speech and especially concerned that freedom of speech is being shut down by by Muslim community or by the followers of Islam, whatever you wanna name that. I did I did try to talk many of you but I knew I couldn't like in sometimes conversation just stopped in halfway through or I had to move to the different place or I didn't even get a chance to give you proper explanation on the reasoning why I did not accept your flowers and chocolates. <laughs> uh, I met people who traveled all the way from Durham, from Manchester, from Leeds, from York, from different parts of UK and people who simply concerned for freedom of speech, concerned that what has been happening at Speaker's Corner last couple of months is concerning. And in a sense, it was sad that I become a story instead of, instead of sharing the story of Lord Jesus Christ, instead of, instead of story of my glorious God to be on the news, I become part, I become a story. Yet I am there because I am part of story of God. Uh, I don't think I have done anything special to deserve flowers or chocolate because like there are hundreds of people turn up the speaker's corner every week for heated debates and discussions for the uh, keeping other individual in account for what they believe or what they think hundreds people hundreds of people are practicing their freedom of speech there is nothing unique i am doing therefore i think it is shame like that there are not uh, lost more people at speaker's corner but because i'm not doing anything unique therefore i i have not thought that i am deserving any flowers or chocolate i must express i don't get that much flowers and chocolates in my life but i must express that i am very much touched by the thought gesture as well as especially you turn up to speaker's corner because you thought freedom of speech was in danger and of course tommy robinson was at speaker's corner as well actually he was the one who arranged all these things decided to turn up the speaker's corner with flowers and chocolates um it is sad that on his way out um he got arrested at this stage i don't have much information but um i watched the clips where he was put um, handcuffs and put on, put into car and he got arrested so i do hope and pray that he's okay and there is nothing serious will come out of that of course my deep down my prayer is one day he will meet with our crucified and risen lord it is it will be shame that if something serious happens to him because he simply decided to turn up the speakers corner to support support me and support freedom of speech it will be difficult to it will be hard to know that i am the one who caused him to be i am the one who caused him to get arrested but uh lord jesus christ is on the throne he is in charge and he knows what's going what's happening and what's why things are happening so i do have full trust in my god but i do pray that he's okay and he will he won't have any charges or anything yes there are lots of things we do we, i would disagree with tommy robinson i did have actually him on a live stream a couple of months back to talk about grooming gangs and freedom of speech but it is helpful for us all to acknowledge that he has been he has been strong voice for the critic of islam and he even counted a huge personal cost for speaking up and he's the one who exposed islamic grooming gangs and he has 
he has to handle or deal with the cost of exposing the grooming gangs and what I follow on the media that hasn't been easy for him. So whatever we disagree, um, I do. I, I I appreciate that he's the one who brought light to those uh, grooming gangs and stands up for the freedom of speech. But also, I do acknowledge that I'm not at speaker's corner to be part of. Be, I'm not at speaker's corner to be story, but I'm at speaker's corner to tell the story of my glorious God. My God is so delightful, so beautiful. He gave his heart for us and he wants us to be his. And I am just just small individual in that big story. Story is all about Lord Jesus Christ. There is a good news and I I am at speaker's corner week after week to preach the good news of Lord Jesus Christ as well as hold Islam to account. Islam needs to be kept accountable because there are the teachings of Islam is very much dangerous to humanity. And as a Christian by default, I believe Islam is false religion, Muhammad is false prophet and Quran is false book. And speaker's corner is unique free speech area. It is an open area part of London dedicated for freedom of speech. And I do have, I do have all the rights to express my belief and then uh, challenged other beliefs and then exposed other beliefs as well. Therefore, it is very common that sometimes there are heated discussions and debates takes place. But if you are British, please, please be very proud of your tradition and very proud of Speaker's Corner. Uh, Yes, things are a little bit changed, but you have that area, and that is that is a historical historical tradition in this country. You cannot get the same thing in somewhere else. And I believe putting the cartoons of Muhammad or drawing the cartoons of Muhammad and even putting the holes in the Quran is simply expression of my freedom of speech. And I have done that at Speaker's Corner. I haven't done anything. Uh, outside of the law to break the law. It, it's been done within the law and it has been done in the place where I can express my freedom of speech. But of course, there is certain uh, group of individuals who do not me to express my freedom of speech. Therefore, they would try to shut down the freedom of speech down by insulting, abusing lying, giving the false informations out, sending me the pictures of my locations, um, giving me death threats, or even physically trying to hurt me. For me, bottom line is, yes, like I did I did hear on the video, it's where, I think it was Tommy Robinson's video, where they were saying, oh, she's just only short five foot woman, or Jay Smith it was, she's only five foot short woman, um, trying to hold her ground at speaker's corner. I might be short, I might be only five foot, but I am open for heated debates and discussions. I am open to preach my glorious gospel and also keep Islam accountable. You can kind of hurt me and I can end up on the floor, but Lord Jesus Christ you will never able to stop Lord Jesus Christ. You will never able to stop glorious gospel to go out. And you will never able to stop people to critiquing Islam. And for us to have healthy debates and discussions, we need to be open to people who are disagreeing with us. Speaker's Corner has been a place where I become more confident and more confident in my faith. Speaker's Corner has been placed where, as a Christian, help me to incline my heart towards my crucified and risen Lord day after day. It is it is amazing place. And maybe I am five foot. Apparently, I'm actually, I calculated it's five, five foot one um, when it comes to the numbers. But in the eyes of my God, I am identified as his child. And I am his plan A. 
And even though, even though my God doesn't need me to preach the gospel and critic Islam, but he's given me that privilege to do so. It's not about my gender. It's not about my height. It's not about my weight. My gospel is so glorious. It doesn't have the boundaries of gender, height, and weight. Therefore, I will continue to turn up the speaker's corner week after week to preach my glorious gospel, tell individuals about my glorious God, as well as hold Islam to account in different props, in different ways, but that's how it's going to happen. You can continue to uh, put your petitions together to deport me or anything, but as long as I am allowed, as long as I am available, of course, if Lord guides me to different place, I am up, uh, open for that. I will be at speaker's corner and practicing my freedom of speech. Actually, my intention... My intention wasn't this video to go this long. I just wanted to make a video to say, to say, let me, let me go back. Let me go back to first intentions um, to, to say thank you very much for everyone who concerned for shutting down of the freedom of speech and they turn up the speaker's corner today. Thank you very much for everyone who brought flowers, chocolates and cards. And as I said, First of all, I don't think I have done anything to deserve that. Uh, that was the main reason I did not take your flowers um, or the chocolates. But I appreciate that, that you, you spend lots of money, you spend lots of time to pick up those flowers and chocolates and make spend all day at Speaker's Corner. I appreciate that. But the bottom line is, I'm, I'm just a Christian who concern who sees the heart of God towards Muslims and I want them to know Islam is false religion, Muhammad is false prophet and Quran is false book. And when the when you share those beliefs, of course there are heated discussions and debates. Um I'm waffling anyway. Thank you very much everyone who who, are, who was at Speaker's Corner. I met with people from the different part of country and so lovely pictures of Muhammad, lovely flowers and lovely chocolates. And I, if in a sense I offended anyone by not kind of um, fully finishing my conversations with you, I had to move on from different things. Please, please do accept my apology. But uh, just know that I am very much grateful that you stand up for the freedom of speech. Thank you very much and hope to see you again at Speaker's Corner soon.